Our first item is approval of the agenda. Do we have any items to be added or deleted? No changes to the agenda tonight. Okay. Then we need a motion. I make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. 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 Wendy? Wendy? Aye. <laughs> Aye. Okay, All right. Thank you. It is approved. Mm. Patron comments. Is there anyone here to speak to us tonight? Patron comments? No comments. Thank you. We need a motion, please. Motion to approve the board minutes from April 15th, 2021. I second. Aye. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Ben? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Thank you. Uh-huh. And that brings us up to special presentations. All right. Well, tonight we have two of our, we'll call it, can I call you lazy, ladies, uh, rising stars? Um, <laughs> new, new members to our staff. Um, they're going to give a project lead the way update uh, as far as junior, senior high goes. And Mr. Clevenger's back there because he's a part of project lead the way through the computer science strand. <laughs> uh, ask these ladies come in to give the board an update on what they have going on. Ladies, there should be a little, yep, so you're in control of your own destiny now. So. Ooh. Um, but we have Brittany Osborne and Carly Brandstetter with us tonight, and they're just going to update um, the board and the public on Project Lead the Way at the Junior Senior High. All right, so while Brittany's getting some of that passed out, I'll get us started. So we're going to be talking about uh, gateway and engineering programs at the Junior Senior High School. So I'm going to get us started with the gateway program, which is what we are doing at the middle school. So um, again, this is the middle school program. Uh, Gateway is basically the intermediate level of Project Lead the Way, kind of the middle, um, five, six, seven, eighth graders do it, so some of the kids do it down at Northside as well, but on my end of the school, they complete two courses per grade level. Seventh grade compete, uh, completes Computer Science for Innovators and Makers, and then Automation and Robotics, so um, pretty cool. I'm going to get a little bit more into what those entail in just a second. Eighth graders com uh, complete App Creators and Energy in the Environment. And each of these courses are nine weeks long, totaling a semester of just STEM in the seventh and eighth grade. So they get a full semester of STEM coursework um, with their time, so two years total. So um, this is just a brief overview of each course. The first one, Computer Science for Innovators and Makers, just basically teaches students how to create algorithms and how to code in blocks coding and text-based coding. Um, text-based is kind of what a lot of people think with coding, but now they have blocks, which is kind of like putting together a puzzle piece, which is really awesome for the kids because they pick up on it really well. Makes coding pretty easy for them. Um, and at the end of this class, they design a final project that solves some sort of problem regarding like equity or disability. So that's pretty cool. And I have some student artifacts to go along with that in a moment. Um, automation and robotics sounds just like what it is. It's all about robots and getting them to move and uh, learning how to code them and working with uh, text-based coding, more of that kind of hard code that people think about. App creators is where we start eighth, grade, eighth graders off and they create their own apps from scratch. So they are doing coding and graphic design. So um, they're in project, they solve a problem with an app, whether it's about equity or disabilities or maybe language issues, which is something that a lot of students do. And then the last one, which is a little different than the other ones, is energy and the environment. Um, there's still a focus a little bit on computer science, but it's more about natural sciences and how our everyday um, choices are affecting our environment and how we can dramatically change the outcome of the way that the Earth is going. So that's um, something that they get to do as well, and we talk about like new and renewable uh, re or energy sources, excuse me. So that is the courses. So basically with Gateway, we're trying to get students to take a hold of their own learning, give them that autonomy to um, have that learning process in their own hands. They're not just getting lectures from me. They're kind of going off 
and doing what they want to do with their learning. They have to collaborate all the time. They're always working in groups. Granted, this year was a little different, but we still made it work. Um, they have to do a lot of problem solving. Project Lead the Way, there's no straightforward answer, which is really hard for them sometimes, but they learn quite a lot of how they could problem solve maybe in the real world or in their careers. And then attaching it to the real world, um, they're solving problems that they see in the real world, such as inequalities, disabilities, and community education overall. So I have these student artifacts. Um, the first picture over here is a video, so if you click on it, it should take you to the link, if you can. So this is just one of the uh, dog food dispensers a class made. So they coded this to uh, dispense dog food um, upon the dog food bowl being put into the sensor and it um, <coughs> takes that weight, recognizes it, and dispenses dog food. They might have to press a button or something, I can't remember for sure. What grade level was this again? Uh, this was seventh graders. Thank you. So they were able to make a fully working dispenser with that one. And those little things up there are called micro bits that they're clicking on. They're just kind of like a tiny computer is the easiest way to explain it. So that's the first video. And then the next picture on that is not a video. It's just kind of showing you that block-based coding that they used, which is very similar to a puzzle. Um, that's what we start them off at in Gateway is how to code like that. So. This next slide um, is a little bit more intricate of a code that a student made, and then we have another dispenser that a student made um, for that same project, and this is also seventh grade. And there are uh, little signs said puppy dog, I think, if I remember correctly, so they were very excited about that. And then the next slide, I have artifacts from app creators where students created their own apps. And this is one where they were supposed to create an educational app of some kind. So the first one's a planner app. And this is eighth graders. This one has obnoxious music, sorry. <laughs> But again, they created this entirely from scratch. No help from me, nothing. All their own doing. The music actually sells it. I, I know. <laughs> they did that themselves too. I was pretty impressed. <laughs> So that's the first app, and then this next app is an ABC app where um, it kind of teaches the child their ABCs. And the images do get a little weird on this one just because of um, how things work on the app sometimes, so that's not the student's fault. So that is Gateway. Um, hopefully next year I will have a little bit more artifacts from automation and robotics and energy and the environment. Just kind of a weird little year, but I'll pass it off to Brittany. Okay. So I teach Introduction to Engineering Design at the high school. So basically what that is is students are going to dig into the engineering design process a little bit deeper. Um, so basically they're going to have a lot of hands-on projects like designing a new toy or approving an existing product. Um, what I passed off to the board was some submission forms that we are actually doing in class. The top copy was what I gave to the students, and then on the back side was what actually students produced for me. Um, also, with along with, that, with the design process, we also go over sketching. So students will do 2D sketches, and then later on we transform them into 3D sketches. And then once they had their 3D sketch, we were able to put that onto our CAD program. So what our CAD program is, it's called Onshape. There's multiple sources um, with CAD that people use, but this is what we chose. So it's a computer aid design, and it basically it takes a sketch, and students will be able to create their sketch and bring it to life on this program that we have and build it 3D. 
Um, the example right there that Mr. Black has, that is the square column that a student built, and then I was able to 3D print it for them. So just some things that they can make out of that. So for project-based learning, this is just a couple things that we did um, the first semester. So we did a design process. So this is where they built their beanbag launchers, which is what Bev has in her hand right now. Um, <laughs> And Mr. Black. So a student, a, a student made that. So basically what we did was we went to the very basic. I gave them materials and I said, how are you going to make this into a beanbag launcher? Um, I gave them the dimensions, gave them all the criteria and constraints that they were allowed to have, and then they had free reign on how they wanted to build it. So that is what two students built, totally different designs, and then they were able to take a little beanbag that they had and launch it. And basically we worked on um, accuracy and precision and came up with a design brief based off of that, off of their design process. Um, so through activity 111 all the way through activity 114, they learned um, design as a process, concept sketching, which then basically helped them get into their carnival game, which worked on all of those things that we've learned so far. Um, in that submission form, basically they, as I said, did a design brief, they came up with concept sketches, and they built the carnival game based off of their beanbag launchers. So they actually had customers or people come up to their game, they'd have to lay out rules and basically tell me how are they going to make it functional and worthwhile. Um, also with sketching, we did our isometric views, so that is where the top, front, and side views, so basically be able to see in a 3D format, um, and then by making those shapes look realistic and then able to put that onto Onshape. So here are some more student examples with Onshape. Um, they were able to create a cylinder and then use um, the extrude tool with um, a fillet and chamfer. Um, students were also able to build basically like a stair step, that's kind of what I called it, with a hole in the middle, and then they were able to create their own drawing on Onshape and then give me the correct dimensions. So I would be able to take that drawing that they gave me and then I would be able to build it on Onshape myself by the dimensions that they gave me. So pretty neat that they were able to do that in the first semester. So then on the second semester, um, we were able to create our on-shape project, which was creating their own charm, and a student made an American flag and a Harry Potter charm. Um, so that was really neat to be able to see what they wanted to do there. We also were able to do reverse engineering, which we were able to take, we were supposed to be able to take a part of coffee maker, but, but due to COVID, I was unable to get the coffee maker. So we turned it into um, reverse engineering on a wind-up toy. So they were able to look at the toy at first and then able to take it apart, see all the different mechanisms in it, and then some of them were able to put it back together, but then some students destroyed it. So, <laughs> but it was okay. I gave them extra credit. They were able to put it back together because I thought that was pretty cool. And then they were able to sketch everything and um, then present it to the class. So this is other, some other student on shape examples. You can see there the Harry Potter charm that was created and um, the American flag charm that was created. And then these were some other examples. We actually just did the water heating tube element that goes in a coffee maker. That was the most recent one that we completed this week. I also had a kid, we were doing a dimensioning project, um, I believe it was right before spring break, and I had the students each take one wall in my classroom and this, just dimension the objects. So the student here, he was, on, he was given my north side wall that just had a cabinet and two boards. I told him that's all he had to do. He decided since he was done early that he was going to recreate my whole classroom. Wow. And I thought that was really neat of him. It's very close to what that looks like. He did a great job doing that. Wonderful. So some future cor courses that I want to implement here at Union City um, is getting our engineering essentials. So with the new curriculum, Project Lead the Way came out, this is actually the first course that we need to take in this um, in engineering. IED is technically the second course now. On the old curriculum, IED was the first. Um, so with State of Indiana, we're trying to see if they will recognize that as a class so then we can implement it here and get it fully funded. So basically what that is, that's going to be the basic engineering skills that students need. Explains some more in depth about sketching and engineering terminology to where IED now is assuming that you've received those skills and can go farther in, in IED it's, itself. So another course in Principles of Engineering, so this is after IED, so this is the third course that you would take. So this is going to focus on process of applying engineering and technolog um, technological, scientific, 
and basically design, production, and operations of product structures and systems. So this is basically going to be dealing with more of your civil engineering and your mechanical engineering in that aspect. So does anybody have any questions for Carly and I? I think it's fascinating to get to do all that. Yeah, Starting in you know, middle school and then high school, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's fun to hear the conversations in class mm -hmm. and how they, they love it too. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it's junior, senior high that we're talking now, but actually our, our preschool kids next year will actually get Project Lead the Way experience in coding, which blows your mind that three, third, three, four, or five-year-old may start working on that. And then I know with some teachers in the room, they, they experience some of this as well in their room. So very exciting. I, in my mind, and, and we've talked about this with Neil and Jason, is I would love for Bev to come out with us from the shop someday and say, not that I want you to have a problem, but <laughs> say we need a part engineer. Can you print us something on your engineer on your 3D printer and go to Brit and they'd go to one of our students and they'd work the problem. I mean, that's the ultimate goal uh, behind all of this. So I, I would love to see that happen at some point as we work through the classes. That's the wonderful thing. It's so many skills that are, are useful in any career, but they can see a finished product and they can see a reason for it and that's wonderful motivation mm -hmm. it's great what advantage does this give for like when they, they continue on to college i mean it would give them an ability to maybe test out of the class potentially or at least give them a clear understanding of the fundamentals so i, I guess i'm yes yeah, so that's a good question so i actually forgot to mention that my class is actually an ap class so students okay. can go to ib tech and they will get a credit through there and then they will actually be able to test out and not take an introduction to engineering course. Um, due to COVID this year, I did not do that since I did not get through all the units. We got through unit one and half of unit two, and it covers through all four units. And I just felt like as a teacher, I would be setting up my students for failure, and that is why I did not let them take that, because it would have caused more frustration or harm on them if I did that. But yes, they can test out in my class. And middle school wise, obviously, right. it will. Right. Right. But right. it sets them. Uh, it sets them up for those higher level math classes that they will eventually take once they get into the high school, and then sets them up for um, engineering, as Brittany or computer science, as like if they should choose that path. So nice. And it's important to remember that, and Brittany, you can speak to this a little bit. The, the project lead the way, or what kind of the idea is, it's the engineering is not necessarily your Purdue engineering right. pathways. Mm -hmm. This is your more your, your hands on manufacturing pathway that's going to go to Ivy Tech, get a certificate in one or two years and put it into practice. This right. is not your four-year college send-off. It could be. I mean, it would be a great base class. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. They can and use those skills. Great skills. Right. And hopefully, if they did go to Purdue, might be able to be oh, yeah. right. those other sure. classes. Yeah. With Project Lead the Way, they do have a lot of partnerships with like Ford and mm -hmm. Chevy, things like that, because they're wanting engineering students to come into their factories and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's great that you know the like you said down at north side you're you're already engaging them for for this for oh yeah for high school and yeah sure yeah. gives them more options mm -hmm. love it it's really neat well done ladies thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank, you. thank you Wendy, are you still there? We are ready to go. Yeah, I, I, I just want to thank them, and I love that they're going to, you know, be able to take some college credit, and I think it's really powerful to have two women teachers uh, teaching these classes. It's, it's good for girls to see that. Yeah. They're doing a great job, no doubt. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. <laughs> She's not she reappeared. Okay. Action items. Claims approval. I move to approve claims 7225 through 7322. Payroll claims number 8, 9, and 9A. We need a motion to approve, please. I make a motion to approve. Has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Yeah, aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Beth? 
Aye. Wendy? Aye. All right. It's been, the claims have been approved to be paid. Uh, field trips. Uh, just one field trip. Um, the annual FFA statement convention being held June 15th through the 17th. We can take, I think, 10 to 12 students now. I make a motion to approve the field trip. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Kim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Beth? Aye. Wendy? Aye. And they can go on their field trip. Personal consent agenda, Mr. Black. Yeah, we typically kind of group these things here, but um, since we have a couple of special guests with us tonight and they've, they've said and got a kind of a piece of what, what we have going on here with Project Lead the Way, but we do have uh, two new, soon to be new Northside teachers with us. So, so first, I'd like to do these individually since they're with us. Um, I'd like to recommend Joni Thornburg as our third grade team member. And we have two great third grade team members here. Uh, Joni is a UC grad, 99 if I recall correctly uh, mm -hmm. so she, she's coming back home to join us has been at Monroe Central so uh, definitely happy to have her um, so I just asked that the board approve Mr. Winkle Mr. Cash you have anything to share we're just uh, really happy to get both ladies to the Northside staff and part of the Northside family so we're pretty thrilled to have them excellent so I'd like to recommend Joni um, as our third grade teacher and her awesome team is all here intact so that's mm -hmm. great I make a motion to approve. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Kim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Bev? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Great. Congratulations. You're one of us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the next uh, new team member here, Savannah Woodward. Joining our second grade team, there's Savannah, mm -hmm. sent by Mr. Winkle. Again, uh, welcome to our team. Uh, just recommend that the board uh, recognize and approve Savannah to join our Randolph Eastern family. Excited to fill these positions with uh, highly qualified young ladies. Uh, they, they were vetted pretty strongly. Savannah was vetted really strongly, right, Savannah? <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion to approve. Mm. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Bev? Aye. Wendy? Wendy? Uh. Aye. <laughs> and again, congratulations, you're one of us. Yay! Right. Welcome to the family. <clears throat> and Mr. Winkle, Mr. Cash, well, you guys are welcome to go. Um, I just asked if you guys could catch a picture of our new staff members out in the hallway before they take off. And Miss Wood does have a little uh, parting gift or welcoming gift for uh, our new team members as well. Did you give them the good ink pens? They may or may not have ink on them. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Joni, I would love to write a little note on that and, and for you to take it over to, to Mr. Braun, if that's okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> we'll be Mr. Back Cash, can you take care of that? More candidates, <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you. you. You're free to go. You're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. We Thank understand. you. Bye, <laughs> Trifa. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Don't go anywhere. We'll get everybody's picture. And... Okay. Okay. That'd be great. Right. Bye guys, bye ladies. Bye. We might be fascinating, but probably not. So okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bye, thank See you. you. <coughs> Next person item we'll, we'll group together. The first one there is Clorinda Cooley moving to a STEM position. Um, that will be paid. It says CARES should be ESSER, but um, federal funds that we have for the next three and a half years uh, for that position. I'd um, like to welcome Melissa Harder into the Corporation Payroll Secretary position, which has been held um, by the matriarch of Randolph Easter and Linda Wood for the past <laughs> 30 years. So 
big shoes to fill. She's going to start training uh, with Linda here as soon as has she's had some conversations, but as school lets out down there, she'll she'll start working sure. with Linda pretty closely. Um, some summer help there. Uh, Brittany Webb is a junior senior high ECA treasurer, and then the one at the bottom, I think, we got to take a minute to recognize Judy Thornburg is retiring, and it yeah. says 38 years. It's actually 40. Yeah. Um, she hired in a, a year before I was actually born, which is incredible <laughs> when you think about it. So uh, Judy will be missed, been a valued member of Randolph Eastern for a long time. A so long time. Just ask that the board approve the rest of those personnel items. Okay. We need a motion, please, to approve the rest of the personnel items. I make a motion to approve the rest of the personnel items. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? You second that. Beth. Yeah. Uh, Tim. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Uh, Linda. Aye. Beth. Aye. Wendy. Wendy. I think there was I a aye. aye. There, there you go. go. Okay. <laughs> You hear me? Yeah, we yep, got, we you. got Thank you. you. So, coaching recommendations, or is that included? Oh, okay. yes, coaching recommendations is part of that packet. And okay. those that are here, the coaching recommendations aren't on the actual agenda, but I did give the attachment uh, for you all. So. Okay, so that brings us to old business. Old business are finishing up um, business, just final approval of student handbook, unless the board has questions, comments. We've all had a chance to read them, so we need a motion to approve. I'll motion to approve. I can make that motion. Okay. I'll second. Wendy oh. and, and Beth. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Linda. Aye. Beth. Aye. Wendy. Thank you. Aye. Gotcha. gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> aye, aye. And new business, Mr. Black. Uh, first item there, uh, New Lisbon Church would like to donate $220 that they collected to be, be deposited in our Northside Student and Need Fund. Uh, that fund has traditionally been used for a number of nice. different areas, help uh, fund kids that couldn't afford a field trip or coats, hats, gloves. Um, food items, those type of things. So ask the board to approve and thank New Lisbon Church for that donation. It's so nice of them to do that. I make a motion to approve. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion other than a big thank you to New Lisbon Christian Church for doing that? Beth? Aye. Sorry. Tim? Aye. <laughs> Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she switched it up. I know. I was <laughs> And the book fee approval? I ask that the board approve the book fees. Very comparable where we were last year. Um, still remain very low, um, which we're proud of and happy to do for our family. So just ask for approval for both sets of book fees for 21-22 school year. <laughs> Motion to approve the 2021-21-22 book fees. Believe it or not. Yeah. I second. <laughs> Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Okay. We're ready for the vote then. Tim. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Linda. Aye. Ben. Aye. Wendy? Aye. Got Thank it. Thank you. you. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy doesn't get to vote twice all night. We aye, got aye. Stuff. Uh, fine. <laughs> and the budget calendar. Mm. Next item uh, to jumpstart the budget process, I have to ask the board to approve the budget calendar. You would have noticed that we moved up the timeline just a little bit to get approval. Um, and a special board meeting at the end of September. This is actually pretty typical. Our, our, and traditionally, the board, Randolph Eastern Board, has um, approved the, uh, the budget in the October meeting. The, and with us meeting the third Thursday, 
that puts us in a pretty tight window to get that done for DLGF. And the bigger issue there is if we're, there was something we needed to correct, it really, really restricts our ability to do so. So I've moved that timeline up. That really won't impact you. It just impacts me and makes gives me a shorter time to get it done. So. Okay. <clears throat> but we do need the approval of the budget calendar. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Beth? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> okay. Uh, next item here is really a discussion item. It's not an action item, but um, just if there's any feedback from the board, here early as I start to work on the budget, which will probably begin next week pretty strongly for me. Um, if there's any thoughts from the board or considerations that you all want me to take in, if that could be staffing considerations or building your grounds type discussions, uh, either way, it's really just an open forum for the board to share any thoughts that they would like to give me and direction publicly um, concerning the budget for next year. We've been pretty well on target with our goals so far. We've been diligent about what we want to achieve, and I think we've been on track so far. Yeah, so. and at the June meeting, we'll come back with a little more information about our federal funds too, as we start to plan, as work out that budget, uh, and get some clarity on those ESSER funds as well. well. We'll come back in the June meeting and give an update on where we're at concerning those funds as well. Good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, next item there is approval of an MOU with Meridian Health Services. Uh, this is just a standard MOU. Meridian um, is in our building often already, has been for years. This is just renewing the, the standard MOU with them. And we are working on an MOU with Meridian Health Services that actually lease us a counselor that will be in our building uh, six hours a day, four days a week, or three days a week however they can, but that person would actually have an office in our building that would service um, social emotional needs individually of our students and help plug them in and their families into different wraparound services. Um, so if we've learned anything through COVID, a lot of people carry a lot of different stuff. Right. Um, so that th that's an MOU I'll read to you in June, but um, I'm happy that Meridian has kind of sure. offered those services to Randolph Eastern. So. But we do need approval of this MOU. I make a motion to approve. I'll second that. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Beth? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> that's great. I, that's essential for our students. That's, that's a good move. Uh, next item here, 8.6, I'm asking the board to allow us to move into a contract with Brody Tartar at Remax Realty uh, to sell the property that's down at um, Walnut and Hickory Street. Uh, there at the corner of the old sand volleyball courts slash extension of the old west side um, playground. Many, many different things that Phil was used for, touch football when I was a kid. So. Um, like permission to sell that and just an update with to the board if you go all the way back to march 2020 or february 2020 pre-covid we were having conversations with tree hill farms and the city about that property uh, that conversation has been reignited um, tree hill farms will definitely uh, is definitely interested in purchasing the property and putting up two hoop houses which are long cylinder like um, greenhouses and the best part for us is, I know we've had conversations, I know Wendy's asked if we'd consider putting up a greenhouse here, is they're going to grant our students and our teachers full access to um, the property as far as teaching resource. So it's a win-win um, for us, for sure. Uh, it gets the property off of our liability and takes something away that we have to take care of, but also gives us access to it in the future. Um, 
went after they get up and running. So just ask that the board give me permission to move that direction. So without us having to pay for building greenhouses, our kids will have access to. I make a motion that we approve this and that it's time for an opportunity for for Ruth and for our students. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? So is that is that going to be purchased by the city or Mr. It will be actually purchased by Darby Livingston Trail Farms. Okay. Yeah. That's a good right. question. I think the city of the Board of Works is going to assist um, them in getting power and water to the, the property. And I think there's a hydrant right there close. Um, but that I think the city has agreed to partner and that, that portion of that. that's been an eyesore for 20 yep. years yep. Yep. And it's a great i mean <laughs> one of the things i love about the property is and i have this conversation with mayor and city officials a lot of most of the guests that come to Union City come down Walnut Street. Mm -hmm. Just the reality is most of the people that come from out of town are coming to the school for mm -hmm. to watch their kids' athletic events, those type of things. And that corner property, if done right and can show the partnership through signage, that kind of stuff, right. I think is going to be a huge win uh, yeah. for the corporation and Tree Hill Farms and Roots. I don't, know. Oh, yeah. don't hide behind what it's going to do for them advertising-wise, but right. it, it, it's, it's a win for us. For and sure. the residents of Hoosier Place also yep. can benefit because yeah. they'll get some produce from there, Correct. if I understand it yeah. right. Okay, any further discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Uh, Wendy? Aye. Thank you. Excellent. Next two items, 8.7 8.8, are two grants that Andy put together for us. Uh, first is from First Book, uh, an amount of $2,700, and the other is $15,000 um, from the Community Foundation of Randolph County. Um, that $15,000 was actually written to assist in paying for the facade. So the paint that got done at Vision Corner this week, um, nice. these dollars can go directly towards paying that bill. And Good. So just ask that the board accept both those donations and thank Andy again for his hard work and being actively pursuing this grant. Absolutely. I make a mm -hmm. motion to accept. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Tim? Aye. Rhonda? Aye. Linda? Aye. Beth? Aye. Wendy? Aye. Okay, the next Aye. item here is... Thank you. Got it. <laughs> next okay. item is the graduation plan uh, for this year. Um, they've been submitted to the health department and approved. Um, I, a little off script for, for the board beyond kind of what, what I shared with you, I guess. And talking to the administrators, I would like a little flexibility. If we've got a family that says they, they have 16 people that would like to come, that we grant that and allow those folks to come, um, not just limit the 12. Because the reality is, is unfortunately, we're going to have some graduates that have two folks come, mm -hmm. and then there's 10 tickets that weren't used, and then we have some families that have said, I've got 16 to 20 people that would like to come. I guess I... The administration and I would just really like the board's blessing to use our best common sense, keep our masking practices in place and those type of things, ask families to sit together as a family unit, um, but just asking that the board approve the plan with that twist. Um, I don't see us surpassing the overall capacity um, that we need to stay under. So, I see no problem with giving you the authority to, to tweak it a little bit if we need to. We need approval for that, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll have a motion to approve the 2021 graduation plan. Second. Thank you. Well. <laughs> hey, it's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? So. And that was Tim, right? Yes. <laughs> Don't hear that very often, do you, Tim? I stay back. Don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Tim. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Linda. Aye. Beth. <laughs> Wendy. Aye. <laughs> Aye. 
I'm loving you. You're having so much fun with this. This is perfect. <laughs> Buzzer that lights up as soon as you say yeah. our names, our buzzer lights up, or a little light. That's what we say. <laughs> um, that was easy button number. Yeah. That was easy. The next item here is to enter into a contract with Site Logic and been updating the board with the, the contract process. And Del Jarman from Site Logic's here on their behalf as well. Um, just to let the public know, and those that are here, we're looking at moving into a, a possible project in 2022 as long as things come together and the bond sales come come in time. Um, but we'll move into a contract that will allow Site Logic really to get started on the architecture, architecture and engineering side so we can start really deciding what direction we want to go with the project, looking at potential additional classroom space, upgrading some STEM spaces, up, upgrading our, our shop area, um, the back of the building, just a couple, a number of different items that we would like to take a look at and the board and I will work pretty closely with the um, stakeholders to try to determine the best priorities for the bang for our buck. But this allows Site Logic to hit the ground running uh, immediately. So, Dr. Jarman, you have anything you'd like to share? And no, sir, I appreciate it so much, folks. Uh, uh, we're excited to get started. That's why I came tonight so I could get the cards. Hopefully, if you give us the approval, I can say, okay, boys, get your pen, pencils going <laughs> so we can get that up. And Aaron, I want to thank you personally. Um, last night, Cowan approved the master plan agreement as well with us, based a great deal upon your kind words. So, Tim uh, shared with the board last night. So, thanks so much for that. Do we have a motion to approve? I make that motion to approve. Okay. Uh, working with Site Logic and getting that started. Second. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take your head nod anymore. It's I know. <laughs> Linda. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Tim. Aye. Wendy. Hi. Bam. <laughs> I want to make sure you're not dozing off. You tried to trick me. It didn't work right on your toes. Uh, the next item here is, uh, well, Dr. Jarman, thank you. We appreciate the partnership. You, you are, thank you so much. Thank you so much for driving you're two sure. hours and 45 minutes <laughs> to, it's not that to be a part of that. So thank you. We'll, we'll be really, It's nice to talk to you again, dear. Safe travel. Just wait a second. She'll say it. Yeah, just Thank wait a you. second. There you go. <laughs> um, the next item here is, is a fun one that the board is definitely on board with and kind of really encouraged us to go after, but that gives us the ability to pay a one-time stipend to our staff in the amount of $1,000, and this is all staff members that worked through this uh, difficult year with us, and a $500 stipend for those that uh, began in January. So um, the board is has a pretty good understanding of this, but just asking that we approve that tonight. So Linda can really go to work on that for the June 11th, June 11th, June 11th yeah. payroll. Mm -hmm. so. Good. I make a motion to accept. <laughs> okay. That's why I don't. <laughs> okay. Just a second. Okay. We got Rhonda okay. and Wendy. Yeah. It has been moved and seconded. Any discussion? I think it's very important that we do that. Let them know that they're essential oh. workers and what they've done throughout the years appreciated. Yes, absolutely. Very much so. That's right. Wendy. Aye. Tim. Aye. Rhonda. Aye. Linda. Aye. Beth. Aye. All right. You get to do that. That's wonderful. Love it. Review of reports. Um, reports have been shared with the board for you to review. Uh, everything in pretty good shape. Um, enrollments stayed right there between 870 and 875 all year. Um, a lot of you know, our, our doors are spinning off the hinges, especially at Northside. Most of the hardware here, she would agree with that. We just have kids coming and going, and it continues even this week. It's amazing to me, but um, all, all our reports are in pretty good shape for the end of April. It's our reality. I get it. Um, that, that's, that's all I have as far as reports go, unless there's questions or comments from the board. No. 
Okay, corporation department comments, corporation staff comments. Uh, to, to, uh, no, you want to talk first? Uh, to, be, to piggyback on the Project Lead the Way conversation, um, today we just finished up our computer science principles AP create task and thus finishes the AP part of their class. So we had our first three students in computer science principles go through the AP part. So we got a couple months to find out how they did and or how I did. Um, so that's pretty nice. exciting. Good. As opposed to a normal AP type exam, uh, this had, was a paper test or a digital test, but there was 70% was a test, but unlike Calc and all the others, 30% of their final results um, was a create task where they had to create some software, they had to record themselves walking through the software and then describe it at, in detail to those that were reviewing the test. And so it's kind of a whole different animal and they really got to work on stuff. And I'm not able to answer any questions during that 12 hour work time. Ooh. Which is really hard because wow. they look at me and they're like, and they ask a question, I just stare at them and they have to look at their friends and ask because they can only ask kids that are in the room, that are in the class, and they have the internet. And so that's been real challenging, I think, for them and uh, a really neat experience. Uh, so that's nice. been a lot of fun and we've got a lot of really good kids coming through the computer science program. And I can definitely tell those students that have come through Carly's program they've gotten like up on what we're doing and they they're they're doing a really neat job a nice job and I think we're gonna have um, some great groups moving forward through that some kids that are just really really doing very well and so I'm eager to see how they do as we move forward uh, with those computer science options Excellent. And Exciting. as well we had a, a student in the other day that used on shape from the engineering class to help build pieces <laughs> for a board game they built for world history and so this mm -hmm. whole thing is coming around to all the different aspects of, of the high school and different classes. And so it's spreading out for all the different pieces. So nice. It's, Impressive. It's a really neat program. Great. Any other? Thank you, Blake. No problem. I think, I think it's great that we keep building upon uh, all this technology and uh, creating opportunities for students to think outside of the box and come up with the training ahead of time to college. But it's so great for the kids. And I, I look forward to working with Fight Logic and uh, finding ways to make the improvements based on the surveys from the teachers and helping improve for our students. Any other corporation staff comments? Yeah. Superintendent comments. I do have a couple things. Uh, first of all, just a quick update on Vision Corner. If you've not seen it, it got painted yesterday and today, which is a huge change for our downtown. Uh, very encouraging. Shows progress, uh, which is what Absolutely. we want. It's all about action. So, um, had a meeting at the fairgrounds this morning, cultivated community meeting led by the Randolph County United and Ball State University. Had a lot of good conversation. Uh, Stimulating how that um, vision corner is definitely something that's heavily talked about during that time during that training So we'll have more information to come. It's, it's a four seminar workshop uh, of different different community leader or county leaders, so okay. I'll provide more updates uh, Just a quick tower update and I kind of put Blake on the spot, but he'll be here in June uh, to give a, a full update to the board um, I guess I would extend to the board to consider if, if you uh, have a home that you would like, I'm not, I'm not saying that, hey, you need free internet, but if you wouldn't mind us using your space as a space to trial and try to figure out and hook one up um, to see how it's going to work out. Because what we've got to do in the next month is really get into some homes and experience some different setups um, and different geographical locations and get the look and feel of it so we're ready to roll it out and let um, people know that at registration time that we've got this available. Please right. contact us if you need help with uh, You can use mine. I'm a half a block from yeah. the water tower, so it should come. Yeah. It, it should, should, but work. that'd be a great place yeah. because there's some trees in there and it's, yeah. it's a line of sight type thing. So like I said, if, if, you're, if you're interested, let us know. We'll work on that. Like anything now or we'll save it all for June? Uh, I mean, 
I, I keep saying this, we're doing more testing and, and things like that. We did get the fence up, it's all up, and so yeah. that's the site is secured, and so that's all, that's really good. And we're glad to have that done, um, but we're still trying things. I, I look forward to time opening up as, as school lets out so we can really dig into this and try to get things ready to go. And the last thing I have, a um, couple big dates coming up. Obviously, like next Thursday, May 27th, is the last student day. Um, so we're down to five days uh, with students here. And then graduation, June 5th, uh, which is going to get here pretty quickly. June 5th at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe, but I think we're going to make it. So. I think so. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> which, at one point, we we're going to we're gonna get through the whole year. That's right. Maybe. That's, that's all weird. I have. Okay. Um, board comments. Yes, Can I ask how many of you are coming to the recognition luncheon next Friday? What time is it? No, I'm not. It's at eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. It depends what time. <laughs> One. Okay. Thank you. You have a lunch. I work, so I, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know here. In the next Chocolate milk. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Are we going to have veggie sandwiches? I'd love to be there. What? Are we going to have veggie sandwiches? Tacos. I know. Yes. I remember veggie sandwiches. Yeah, that was one of the first. Okay. Any other board comments? Yes. Got a couple. Okay. Uh, the fence looks awesome around that tower. We dodged a big bullet there. I think everybody knows that. Is there any cameras that we have that maybe we can set closer to the around that fence just in case or turn um, that way or anything? We do have one camera that covers that area. Um, we went through, uh, actually just a week or so ago, I went through with our camera company, walked the grounds, and talked about some of our spots that could use a little bit more uh, thorough camera coverage and talked to the administrators and stuff. And that's definitely uh, an area where we'll be looking at more closely. Right. Um, and so hopefully we can get some more coverage. We've got something, but it's a camera that's designed for a, a lot of space which means our quality is a little low. So we're gonna try and improve that a little bit. But we do have some coverage on that location. And just to follow up on the CPR first aid class, we had 30 seniors go through last week and Yay. got certified. Not Excellent. quite the number we wanted, but uh, the high school administration is gonna work with us next year. We're gonna to try to do it in October, try to pick up, you know, and go with 100%. And do it twice a year? Yes. Yes. Nice. So great. the 30 we did have was just super classes. Great. Yeah, good. It was really good. Thank Exciting. You. And they'll be getting their cards. Their okay. superintendent. They've got them. Has them. There you go. Perfect. Anything else, they, too? Nope. I see your class meeting okay. tomorrow. I think they'll get them there. So. Anything, awesome. Rhonda? No, I'm good. Thank you. Ben? Wendy? Thanks for letting me in virtually. And I really wish I could be there for all these end of the year events. My favorite time of the year. We'd love to have you. Oh. But yeah. You stay healthy and just join us next year. We'll do it again, I promise. Yeah, I'll be grateful. <laughs> I'll be grateful Monday for my next treatment. Oh. All right, well, hang in there. And Wendy, I'll be in touch with all you right. for diplomas as well. Yeah, yeah. I will get those signed this weekend for you. Perfect. Okay. If there are no further comments okay. or any further business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Officially. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.